Okay, I don't know about you guys. Do you know what I caught myself thinking about actually as we open this episode is that we're gonna at some point, because Michael's gonna have to be exposed at some point to Sean and the other, you know, people of the bad place, the other Eternals. I do wonder whether we will have some level of debate of him, I don't know, like a crisis of identity. Maybe them coming at him and being like, look, what's become of you? This is who you are? What do you mean? How? Why? No, this is how it, do you know what I mean? I, I wonder, I wonder, because that is going to come and it's going to be interesting to see how Michael reacts to that and how hard he fights against it. I think he will, absolutely, but it'd be interesting if there's like a moment of pause where actually, I don't know, I don't know, part of him maybe starts to waver and he does some work to, to build him back up and be like, no, the path I'm on now is better, right? Getting to the good place is pretty tricky. Okay. I have to design a complicated, unique... Is it Optimus Prime? <gasps> I can't believe we get to write a real life Optimus Prime. Okay, don't get ahead of yourself, Jason. Shotgun on Optimus Prime. Definitely <laughs> not Optimus Prime. God damn it, why not? Aww. I'm Jason. I'm just, I'm just Jason. Whatever. I do feel like I'm Jason more than any of the others, to be fair. I'm gonna need a few days to do this. Dude. Yeah, we got a few days. And although I believe I've asked you this question already. There is no business class. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Janet. Can you not go somewhere else while you come up with it or? I have to log in first. Gotta answer my, uh, <laughs> what was the name of your childhood pet? Hmm? Cores off the ten-headed dog spider. Really? <sighs> That's a lot. We're going to the good place in a freaking gold balloon. Beautiful. Top of the balloon, alternate shotgun. He's just Luffy. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting how I was talking about last episode. I feel like the step is to get to the good place, but then for it to not quite be, well, it's not going to be the end, right? I do wonder whether they'll end season two. I think we're going to get there before the finale. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's going to be the last episode and then we end on that. And diarrhea and then eating more frozen yogurt and then more diarrhea. Maybe I should have realized this wasn't a good place because... Mm -hmm. Maybe you shouldn't be eating all that frozen yogurt right now. <laughs> We're about to be on a balloon, man. Uh-huh, yep. What do you think our new home will be like? Oh, it's all so hopeful. Ugh, I miss my phone so much. Why? I bet I have so many texts. Why would you... No, why would you want your phone? I'd have a tasteful moat. Buddy. I don't care where I live. As long as I have more or less frozen yogurt. Jason, no. <laughs> Limited library. That sounds nice. Oh, it's a lot of pressure though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's so much. Oh, and soulmates, I hope they're real. Helena. I, I mean... Oh, he saw that. I hope everyone gets some... Oh, bless her. Oh, because that, mm, that line is like, well, you're not mine. It's interesting that she had that reaction because there's an element clearly in her that's like, you might be mine. Soulmate. Okay, I think we figured it out. Or maybe this goes wrong and they don't quite get to the good place, but they end up somewhere else. The balloon will only transport those who have attained self-realization. Oh. If she's the best version of herself, it will permit her to board. Okay. But I am definitely the best version of myself. I think you can all go further. <gasps> really? Huh. Really? <laughs> Chidi's not gonna fail it then, because someone's gotta fail it, you'd argue. That's what's gonna make this interesting, and yeah, Chidi. No, 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 it's red. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, the pattern is green, 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 red. <laughs> that balloon wants us to be the best version of ourselves, but for the four of us, that's not just a metaphor. There have been literally 802 different versions of us. Oh my goodness, mate. And how do I know that this version is the best version of myself? <sighs> I'm wasting my breath by being like, it's simpler than this. <laughs> You don't have to worry about it, okay? GD, GD. Or 558. Or 69, or 420. Beautiful. Under the whole idea of, of consciousness, and, and just forget about best, and what version of GD is even real? Okay, fair enough. I do, I do appreciate what he's talking about. All very interesting questions. It really is, but my buddy, sometimes you just can't get into it, okay? Because maybe the answer is that you're all of them. Do you know what I mean? Because that's that, that is the question, isn't it? Of, of what he just talked about, of which version is you? If there were, if you fed you, through a thousand different realities of, okay, well, in this reality, this happens. In this reality, we change it just slightly. And how does that affect who you are and who you become and how you are? And then, okay, at the end of all those thousands where you are perhaps very different versions of yourself every single time, then you have what he's asking of the question of who are you? Which one is you truly? Which one? And it's like, I do think the answer to that is that you are all of them. And I think that's kind of almost the beauty of humanity because I think when you boil over 
everything down and all of that down and all of the questions and the almost these debates that we've been talking about a lot so far in this show of nature versus nurture and who are we what decides who we are which is the biggest factor that influences ours which are all valid questions and all do I think influence us to some degree I think when you're answering the question he's just asked like I say I think the answer is you're all of those I think in reality when you know we only know one of ourselves you've got to accept that you are who you are based on the decisions and the events that have happened in your life so far and that's who you are as well and that's no less valid than you would be if it was a different reality and it had gone differently even though those two versions of yourself would be radically different it's not a question I think of who's better or who is the most of you because I think we as humans at all times are capable of so many different things depending on our circumstance and that's not necessarily a satisfying answer because you can't revel or sit bathe in this is who I am because I think the reality is and and the truth in that is that we're fluid and and that's good we should be fluid we should be different depending on our circumstance and like I say I think that's what perhaps you can really nail down as what is humanity how do you define humanity and maybe that's not always good but that's always the truth Sorry, I'm just appreciating the irony of me sitting here being like, dude, it's not that deep. You don't have to think about it. And I and I do stand by that. It's like, ah, you gotta get out of your head sometimes, dude. And this is this is a problem with Chidi, right? And then and then stopping and going into it anyway. It is what it is. But it's an interesting question, absolutely. And I but I think I think the answer to it and the uh, you know what you arrive at at the end is, is beautiful. And I think that is the beauty of humanity, is that if you find yourself, I don't know, a version of yourself you don't like or whatever it might be, you can change. You can always change. And it, it, you know, it extends to if you're in a place in life, I mean, this is slightly different because I was gonna say, if you're in a place in life you don't like, if you're like, I'm not happy, I, I get some of that is not determined by you. Some of that's determined by society and things out of your control, power and class and money and the country you live in and the rules that it's largely governed by, right? I get that. At the same time, you can adjust to that to change things for yourself based on what you feel like you need. So that's what I mean when I, when I talk about this fluidity, Right, Every, everything that the question he's asking kind of proves, at least to me, is that we are fluid and always fluid and we can always change if we want to. I suppose the question you've got to ask yourself is, are you happy in life if you're not okay? Why identify what that is? Okay, that's out of your control, don't worry about that then. Because I mean, you're never gonna be able to change things out of your control. I think the the way that I, look, this is just my personal philosophy and, and, and if this doesn't apply to you, fine, fair. But for me and, and, and making sure that I'm the, the happiest I can possibly be, I, I'm always like, I can only look at the things that I can change. Anything else I don't worry about as much. I do have a certain level of attachment from things that I can't affect because to to drive yourself crazy over those things is is to drive yourself insane. It became this thing of like, I I can suddenly accept if I fail and I know when to take blame on myself because I can change that. I could have changed that. A lot of what he's talking about is out of his control. And the reality of the situation, the thing that's in his control is this reality right now and where he goes right now. All of these other versions of himself happened, but he has no control over those. He has no control over being one of those. He has no control over any part of that situation. And so to a certain extent, like you can be cheaty and you can think about all this stuff, absolutely. There's absolutely also a reality where you can be cheaty, think about all this stuff, but come down on a conclusion that is like, I can find a way to be okay. And, and I mean, this is, this is the point of this episode episode, right? Best self, right? Episode nine. And I'm sure we're going to get to a place perhaps where he assimilates some of this stuff and he gets to a place where he can get on this balloon. But that's that's where you start. And really just honing in, in your own life, and because it's different for everybody, I suppose, but finding out what you're capable of, setting the parameters for where the limits to that are, and letting the things go that are out of your control. Because to obsess over those or torture yourself over that and, and beat yourself with that, a thing that was out of your control anyway, is a waste of your time. As as unfair as it might be, as much as it might suck, because it, it, it can, it's out of your control and you can't be ruled by that. And that's what Chidi needs to kind of pick apart, work out, and like I say, let all of that go. It's hard and, you, and you've and you got to kind of do some work to, to get there, but I think it's worth doing because I think your life is happier if you get to that point where you stop torturing yourself over stuff that you can't control. And this Chidi is an imposter. This is pretty simple, bud. Yeah. And we are 
much better because of you. And and this is a version of you, mate, that is completely valid alongside all of those other versions of yourself as well. In a way, it, it doesn't matter if I was better in version 492 or... Yeah, and also, uh, but, but also your definition of better is weird, Chidi, mate, because different versions of you aren't better or worse, they're just different. Like, this is the thing, different... So many people conflate the idea, the word different, with either better or worse. And it's like, stop it, stop it, stop it. Because different doesn't mean better or worse. And quite frankly, truthfully, all different means is that in different situations, you might be better in that one, worse in that one, but then the same person might be worse in another and better in another, that another version might be better at or worse at than you, do you know what I mean? Like you can get into that and talk about that if you want, but it's, it's, it's useless conjecture. It doesn't matter. And actually all that matters is that it's different. And that is not the same as saying that something is better or worse. And Chidi's getting too bogged down in the better or worse argument. And all there is, mate, all there is to talk about is that they're just different. And each individual version will be better or worse at so many different things. Now let's get you back on that scale, Dorcas. <laughs> I feel like it's still gonna be red. What's it gonna be? Oh, no, she's gonna be red. <laughs> what she realized? <laughs> yeah, green, 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 Eleanor red. <laughs> Boom. Chidi got in my head. Just that thing Chidi said about previous versions of myself. Go on. I stole this from your house the first night we were here. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that version of me from the tape of us at Mindy's? You're not that person, and you think that version is better than you. That Eleanor is a better Eleanor than this one. No, just different. Just different. We're getting bogged down. We are. We are. We're getting bogged down in, like, better, worse, better, what Different. Different. And different doesn't necessarily mean better or worse, it just it means different. There's a reason that better, worse, and different are three separate words that mean different things, okay? Michael, can you tell us a little bit about that version? You had a pet lizard. Beautiful. Which I made poop on you all the time. No. That's beautiful. Can you tell us more about cheese and my relationship from that version? Okay. Well, you got really into ethics and... Okay. So, okay, this is kind of like picking apart my, my theory <laughs> a couple episodes ago about it being fake. And okay, yeah, so sorry, they have mentioned the tape and he's not been like, oh, that's fake. So, um, okay, fair enough, I'll walk you back. I was wrong, I was wrong. I was looking for conspiracy theories where there were none. I do feel like it would have been more interesting if that had been fake. I. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. Oh, I guess there's a potential future that could come that'd be really interesting to explore if that tape were fake. That's what I'm saying. Once you handed him a tissue right before he sneezed in that simple act of, huh. act of anticipating his needs, oh. made him fall for you. That's so sweet. And you had your first kiss. Gross. <laughs> Kissing is gross. You tried it? You just mash your food holes together. It's not fair. Not for that. Fair. What would you, this is the thing, Michael. What would you suggest as an alternative? Like, where, where do you want to mash together? Questions, mate. Questions. I propose that everyone who is green go ahead and board the magic balloon. Oh, now you're going to be red. You've been selfish, mate. You're going to be red now. Look what no! you did. <laughs> Janet, you still haven't talked to Jason about your... Uh, 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 stand on the scale. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. We're all messing each other up. If you're so perfect, step on the scale. Guys, we're dividing. you going to be red. Okay. You humans have so many emotions. You only need two. Anger and confusion. <laughs> the problem isn't any of you. Go on. This whole balloon thing is a fake. The oh. I have no idea how oh, to get into the good place. You lied. I'm angry and confused. Beautiful. Be not really beautiful. Let's be honest. Months ago. We all suspected it. Come on. It was a lie. Mm -hmm. I actually tried one billion and twelve different plans, but the only way into the good place is by being a good person on Earth. Can we get back to Earth? That should be the next step, surely. I also learned the error of my way. Real rock bottom for a demon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this was not torture. I, I was stalling. Right. I would have been happy if you were to live in this neighborhood forever. Beautiful. Then Sean came and and, oh. and just ruined the whole thing. Yeah, because you could, this is the thing, you can make this the good place if Michael's in charge with no one else allowed to get in, right? Is there a way to, to seal it off? Because that's kind of what you got, right? These guys are the only ones in here. If you can seal off this area, ah. <laughs> What happens now? Good question. You're you're mad at me. Alter, go on. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Oh, that's worse. Yeah. This really is the end. Completely out of options. Come on, brainstorm. Not completely out of options. Yes. Ignore our problems <laughs> and drink heavily. <laughs> yes. No. Beautiful. Mm, it's a bit sad, isn't it? It's a bit of a sad picture. I think two options. Either we secure this area to be our good place, or two, we go back to Earth. Could you imagine? That would be awesome. Ah, would it? I, it would just be awesome as an idea to, like I said, live our life better and die and get to the good place. That would be, hmm. Perhaps, given everything, oh. to end our relationship, 
probably about time I stopped relying on others for my good self worth. Yeah. Whenever I encountered any obstacle, I'd simply say, I would like to speak to your manager. Mm. But in our relationship, there is no manager. Mm -hmm. No one who can fix this for me. Except me. Beautiful revelation. My mom was a manager at a pet store. <laughs> I run the pet store where <laughs> it was all a dream. Buddy. Thank you, Jason, for making this moment a little easier for me. Mm hmm. But good. I'm glad that Tahani got a lot out of that. Feelings are stupid. In case feelings aren't. They're gonna fuck. I can see it. That I do. Beautiful. I have feelings for you. Smashed it. Well done, mate. Proud of you. You know the sound that a fork makes in the garbage disposal? <laughs> That's the sound that my brain makes all the time. Mm. About the things I'm afraid of or things that I want or, or want to want or, or want to want. Do you not quite know how to allow yourself to like her? Is that what's going on with him? The circumstances under which we met are completely insane. That just makes the, the grinding harder. Right. You've been hyperanalyzing this and you're not listening to how, actually how you feel. Met the way normal people meet, like at a philosophy conference. Buddy, get all this out of the way. Knocking on my office door asking for help with philosophy. Is that how you think people meet? <laughs> I don't know how normal people meet. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is nice. I'm just saying, better role play. Get him in an office, knock on his door. I like who we are right now. Mm-hmm. To this version of us. I'm to Eleanor, our unofficial leader. Cheers. Scrappy little ultra mechanic. <laughs> it's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, babe. <laughs> Janets don't typically give speeches. Go ahead, mate. First time for everything. Oh, she's done. She's not going to give a speech. Beautiful, though. Liked it. 10 out of 10. Michael! Oh, Michael! Michael! Woo! Yeah! Yes! Easily the best version of himself. He really is. Admitted he was wrong, which makes him better than 90% mm. of all humans. And you know what? It was. Oh. We weren't getting into the good place anyway. Uh, yeah, bless you. An absurd British aristocrat, a narcissistic attention seeker. Are these all me? <laughs> I'm gonna do eight for you and one for everyone. <laughs> Beautiful. So, we oh. hereby name you an honorary human. And oh. present you with this human Ooh. starter kit. Beautiful. Car keys. Yeah, why not? Well, then I can do that, you know, that thing where you... you... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is so cute. A stress ball. You're gonna need that, dude. This is all garbage that I have no real use for. Welcome to being human, buddy. Oh, you didn't have to hit us like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, what? Every episode of this show is so different, which is awesome. You feel like you're getting, like, 12 finales almost a lot of the time. This feels like a finale. Oh, she is so into him. I, I do you know what? And I, I'm going to go on a limb and I, I'm going to say, I, I do think he is really into her. I just, he's so in his head about it. There's a message coming in from Sean. Oh, hello. What do you guys think the bad place is going to be for you? I'll probably go to a Skrillex concert. You're waiting for the bass drop. Never, never comes. And it... <laughs> It'll never come. <laughs> pretty good at turning every place I go in, into my personal hell, so. Yeah, you're solid, mate. You're fine. I think they'll have a lot of options for me. Mm-hmm. And you'll probably be running the place in like a week. My hibbledy dibbledy. <laughs> Your mind is good. Your manager. <laughs> Your man. Go on. We should speak to the manager. <laughs> a, a judge. Mm hmm Plead our case to and, and... Keep drinking, yeah. I thought about that. It's a non-starter. No, no, no. Let's explore. Judge rarely hears cases. But to get to the judge's office is through a portal. Can you make it? We can never. Why? Why not? We'd have to walk through the actual bad place in plain sight. Absolutely pop. Come on, that's, that's the next episode. And somehow win our unwinnable case. That's the goal. Let's do it. Yeah. Serious? Keep the wine flowing the whole time. All I really ever wanted was to know what it feels like to be human. Oh, really? So interesting, because like before he was never in any place to ever understand them. And that's what you kind of see earlier on in the show. That's That line's super interesting. And I've seen a lot of people coming in comments and talking about Michael finding a lot of... Because I've talked before about Michael not understanding humanity. And I think some people have heard that before and come in and talked about, no, no, actually, he, he, he loves humanity and blah, blah. And it's like, I think it's both. I do think it's both. Because you can't talk about finding humanity disgusting or having contempt for humanity. Oh, that was it. That was it. I talked about him not liking humanity. And it's interesting because I think a lot of people came in and obviously having seen him talk about humanity like this and were like, no, 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 he loves him. And it's like, I mean, I mean, this is the thing as well. Maybe it's all jealousy. Maybe it was all jealousy, right? Maybe there was an element of like being bitter about it, being being bitter about not being a uh, human, right? Not not having the capability for that kind of thing. I think there, there are two versions of him and it's pre Chidi and his teachings and ethics and post Chidi and his teachings and his ethics. Ethics. And actually, I do wonder how his motivations have shifted because of those two two things, because of those two different periods, and how pre perhaps it was more curiosity about humanity that that led him to do the things he's done. And then as he grew to learn ethics and find a bond with Eleanor 
her and that kind of thing. I do wonder how how that has like shifted and how those strong desires in himself that he had pre Chidi and the the teaching have shifted into something new, something else, and actually how that almost disgust that we've seen him have for humanity previously, maybe that bitterness, that that, that jealousy that he never had those things, had that opportunity for for Earth and and all those things. As real as those things might be and those feelings might have been, and it might not have been even that he liked humanity, he was just jealous that he never had the the, the plethora of uh, opportunities they had. Do you know, it, it could be so many things, I think, that are at play here. I, I think the simplest reading is that he was bitter and he actually did really love humanity. I think it's still true that he didn't understand them, truthfully, and I think Chidi's teachings have made him so much closer to understanding them. And I think as a result of that, have brought him closer to humanity. And, and uh, this is the thing, have allowed him to actually like humanity in a way that he could never have before. That's what I'd say. So I think there, were, there was an obsession there. Perhaps he didn't even know what it was, you know, something missing. And the changes he's gone through have, have shown him and allowed him to see what he was missing and actually how closer now he is perhaps to this I mean, best self of, of happiness than he could ever have got to pre Chidi and pre this situation. You could come to a few different, I guess, conclusions to all of that and to his behavior throughout the show. Again, I would ask people to not like correct me on stuff if you're acting from information past that I've seen, because as much as you think it's not a spoiler, it does get me thinking about it. Or it does, for example, disprove what I... I know when commenters have more information than I'm dealing with. You're so adamantly against what I was talking about, you clearly have some information that I don't have. Do you know, do you know, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I, regardless, it's still interesting to kind of examine. And that line, actually, I think that line makes sense. But I think the, the the way that it's manifested has been very different depending on his circumstances and his self, his state of mind and his state of being. And it's so interesting, isn't it? How like through a, a healthy avenue of, of talking and, and being in touch with that and learning, learning to be a better person, learning to be empathetic, learning to be in touch with your emotions and caring about other people, how that changed from bitterness and uh, almost hate to love and oh I can allow myself now to get closer to that and, and like that as opposed to being so far away and hating it because I'm so far away from it do you know what I mean it's such a nice message actually to talk about how that process is so healthy for you now we're going to do the most human thing of all attempt something futile with a ton of unearned confidence <laughs> and fail spec <laughs> It'll be brilliant, mate. Just bring the wine. First thing tomorrow, we're going to the bad place. Yeah. And the best thing about this is that he can shut this place down, conform with what Sean needs, and it will ensure their cover for a little bit longer too. So if you have any bags, why don't you just go ahead and place them up your... Oh, he's going to reset her. <laughs> Beautiful. As long as I'm with you guys, I'm always oh. in the fake good place. <laughs> That doesn't sound as nice as you think. <laughs> yeah, he tried. The real bad place was the friends we made along the way. Oh, no, not even almost, actually. One more try? In a way, the good place was inside the bad place all along. You know what? That's technically true. Yeah. There we go. End of an era. Beautiful. There we go. That was best self. Uh, I've waffled on this episode quite a lot, so I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so so much for watching. Hey, some more good plays coming soon. If you're not subscribed already, please do consider doing that. Thank you for those who do support me. I do have some links down below if you want early access to all my videos. Consider clicking on this video right here to keep the good times rolling. But other than that, that is all from me, and I'll see you soon.